News with the Titans Impact Program, One Community. If you would, explain to people who maybe don't know what One Community is and what's been going on lately. Yeah, so One Community is something that it, at the same time as we were working through, you know, what's, what's the future of, of the Titans from a stadium facility perspective, um, we were also, you know, you've been here, Mike. We, we've been changing quite a bit as an organization. Amy Adams Strunk just changed everything about how we think about every aspect of our business. And so as we, we've been getting more sophisticated uh, on, on a lot of the things we do, one of the questions that, um, that came up is how, how do we serve our community and, and how do we make sure that we're doing it really, really well? Um, as I think a lot of our fans know, somewhere in this process, we recast our mission statement to, to win, serve, entertain. And uh, serve drives that, that mission statement as much as anything. And so if, if we're gonna lean into that mission statement, we should be serving our community with, with a sophistication and a quality that we are putting to everything that we do, whether it's I know, on the football team, uh, broadcasting, everything we put this level of thought and sophistication into. And we should be doing the same thing from a, from a community perspective. And so over the course of months, uh, years even, we brought in community leaders. Uh, last tally I saw was there were 700 people that were from you know, one part of this community or another and had usually some sort of leadership position throughout this community. And we asked them effectively three questions. What are the opportunities? in this community? What are the challenges in this, in this community? And where do you see an organization like ours best able to intersect with those opportunities and challenges? And, and through that process, we've come up with an initial effort of 16 different programs uh, that are all designed to work with existing programs for the most part around, uh, around this city or existing organizations around the city from um, Metro schools in Tennessee State to Citizens Bank and Nashville uh, Business Incubation Center, um, rallying around this concept of one community, one standing for opportunities, networks, and education. And we are putting the same amount of effort and emphasis into that program that we, we put into anything that we do. And we are excited to watch over the next years and decades as, as that program really does provide tangible differences throughout our community in opportunities, neighborhoods, and education. We believe that kind of house by house, block by block, neighborhood by neighborhood, the Tennessee Titans have an opportunity with this level of strategy and effort and input to really make meaningful differences in the lives of people uh, who live in the city. Making it apparent to everyone that the Titans are in it for the long haul in Nashville, part of this community, and committed to giving back. Absolutely, and it, look, it's it's a really it's a it's a it's a it's a range of programs, and so we're moving two million dollars over to Citizens Bank and partnering with National Business Incubation Center, corner to corner, a great local business organization, to ultimately put Citizens Bank in a position to give loans to some of those businesses, whether they're just getting off the ground or whether they're trying to go from point B to point C in their business to get articles of incorporation or to get an architect to, to do work on some building that they need to build with the idea that with the Titans being involved, with our being able to bring these partners together, how can we actually maybe support some of these neighborhoods uh, and, and, and provide opportunities by investing in businesses that are just on the cusp of, of doing great, uh, maybe creating more jobs uh, here locally, and they just need that, that additional effort, that, that additional kind of connecting of dots. The Titans are trying to step into that void so that when we look back in 10 years, we can actually look at these businesses that have, have, have thrived and the jobs that have been created because we've come together and we've provided this capital to, to Citizens Bank and we've, we've ultimately brought this program together to make a meaningful and tangible difference in our community. It feels like this building is more about Nashville than what Nissan Stadium was when that building was really about putting Nashville on the national map. We are looking uh, at you know, what have we learned over the past 20 some years and what, what if, if we put a lot of creativity and, and ingenuity into building a new building understanding what Nashville has become and the opportunities for Nashville, what, what might that building look like? And we rallied around this concept of it being the people's house. Um, I mean, first of all, 
Uh, this, this building is going to be located in a very unique uh, spot compared to other NFL facilities. It is literally probably going to be the center of, of the action for a lot of locals in, in, around Nashville. We're thinking it is almost like a new town center with the, this neighborhood that's going to develop around it with green space and transportation and, and great housing and, and retail. Uh, and so if that's true, then this building that we're designing should be something that is as active as the neighborhood around it. And we've, we've, we've held 12,000 square feet of space by the front door, for example, to be used as community center space. So while Titans are playing on Sundays, uh, you know, what, what field trips can be working through and what can they be learning in that 12,000 square, square feet? Uh, we don't see Nashville as an opulent city. We don't see Nashville as, as a city that, that needs to kind of get into uh, to, to that level of competition. We see Nashville as a high character, high soul city. Uh, one of the buildings that really inspired us throughout this process and thinking about what a building could be is the Ryman. Uh, no one walks into the Ryman and says, gosh, that was really an opulent experience, right? This, the, the, the features of this building at the Ryman are just off the charts, right? It's about the character and the soul. There's not, there's not anything uh, that goes through the Ryman that if I was given a ticket, I wouldn't go to just to be in the Ryman. It's just a really special experience. So if in 2023, you're designing a building that's gonna be used as much as this building will be used, as we anticipate, that should be kind of a marker for this city, for this state, something that, that is, um, is something that people around the world start to think about Nashville and Tennessee, you know, based on the design of this building. What, what does that look like? What character, what soul can be built into a, a stadium facility? Uh, and Manic has been really helpful in helping us dream and think differently. And I, I think Nashville and Tennessee are just gonna be incredibly proud of the final product. Congratulations to all of us and thank you. Thank you, Mike.